Mike Duval. Today, we're going to get schooled on AFE Advanced Flow Engineering's total power package for the 2007-09 Jeep Wrangler JK. Now, if you own one of these vehicles, you know that the 3.8 liter V6 in stock trim is more than adequate for the job. But as soon as you stick on an aftermarket suspension, larger tires, load it up, suddenly that 3.8 becomes somewhat anemic. Now, fortunately, AFE has a solution for this. We're going to have a stainless steel 3-inch cat-back free-flowing exhaust system, a full replacement intake system with a free-flowing intake, silver bullet CNC machine throttle body spacer for the maximum flow that we can get in the system. Now, we're going to put these accessories on today, and before we do that, we're going to get this on the dyno and get some real numbers before, and then we're going to get the numbers after, so we'll have a good comparison of what we actually gained. So after that uh, OEM run, we got, uh, as far as the weather correction factor on both, we did uh, 137 on uh, max horsepower, and then on torque, we did uh, 155. Very good. So, all right, 137 on the power and 155 on the torque before. Yeah. So let's go get the accessories installed and see see what we come back with. Perfect. I can't wait. Good all deal. Right, all right. First thing we're going to do is get the factory air box out of the way. Use some uh, hose clamp. Jump. Next, we move the bottom of the box, which basically just takes a tug. It's snapped into some grommets. What do you call this junk? Make sure you get the intake air sensor out because you're going to have to reinstall that in the AFE unit. The throttle body is a pretty simple piece to install. It's just a matter of taking out the four factory bolts, installing the spacer, and putting it in with the new replacement bolts. Now the AFE throttle body, silver bullet throttle body spacer, has a serrated entry in here. What that does is that reduces the amount of whistling that's commonly associated with throttle body spacers. Ready for the air box. Intake air temperature sensor reinstalled in this hose. Last, not least, certainly important, <coughs> drop your air filter into place, set your clamp. Final touch, we install the air cover. AFE supplies the label, says stop, do not replace cleanable lifetime air filter, because this is the last air filter you're ever going to buy. And that's it. Good to go. Spray all the rubber hangers and get all the connectors with a good penetrating oil. That's where the penetrating oil came in handy. We're just going to start building the system basically from the front to the back. Now this is AFE's high tuck system. The tailpipe is tucked up in here as far as you can without uh, sacrificing any clearances. It gives you a little gain in the back as far as your off-road capabilities. So all our parts are on. We're all set to go back over the dyno. So the big question in everybody's mind, does it work? Uh, one thing I can tell you before we even go over to the dyno for the secondary numbers is that these guys here at AFE, they don't build any part. Nothing gets out until their team is 100% satisfied that it provides performance gains. So let's go over to the dyno and let's see what the real numbers are and then let's get a seat of the pants drive afterwards. Okay, so now we got all our stuff on. How we do this time? Cool. This time here, we're looking at uh, max power again, 147 with the weather correction factor and uh, torque, 208. That's yeah, uh, so. some big gains. Yeah, huh? you can definitely feel it off that uh, bottom end. So very good. Nice well, I can't port. wait to can't wait to drive it and see what it does. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Well, let's go. Cool. Holy smokes! Yeah, this thing uh, woke up considerably. It's. Uh, it's like a whole other vehicle.